I've read this book, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but William Dershowitz's book, Excellent Sheep, examines lack of creativity instilled within students, creating a generation of students who are ingrained with what the school board believes is key information and information alone, what they choose. And it seems as if your ideas really combat what he's saying, and it, that gives me hope and optimism <laughs> about the future. So do you think the integration of technology alone can help ease this concern about creating a generation of excellent sheep? I think that trying to begin at a place where we where we where we ask anew what we mean by um, sort of integrative education, what we mean by educating the whole person, mm -hmm. uh, serves both the issue that he's addressing, which is really focused at kind of the elite pipeline or the hyper achieving pipeline as well as, I think, this question of how do you imagine liberal education quite equitably in a very democratic sense. Mm -hmm. all, all the way up that chain, I think, <laughs> it, it helps reframe the conversation to say that what we are trying to create is a new way of imagining how to educate the whole person, um, how to educate for well-being, how to educate for flourishing, um, a term that we're using in our class uh, <laughs> where we're actually taking this up as our central question, which is the challenge of, of educating um, for uh, sort of formation well-being and what we're calling, what we're talking about authenticity, how to help people learn to understand their own sense of worth, um, to uh, think about a sense of purpose, um, to help restore purpose uh, to the core of education. So, so I think that, that that's what we need to do, and I don't. I think it's a you know the course that we're teaching is on wicked problems. So what there is. What is this? Uh, it's a course called the university, the future of the university as a design problem, yeah. and um, this semester we've taken up uh, this question of education as a wicked problem, and specifically, the question that we're taking up is the challenge of educating uh, for purpose, well-being, and authenticity. So it's very much trying to speak to his concerns um, that we've that we've emptied out um, the heart of education of its actual content. You know, I think it's very, you know, it's a wicked problem <laughs> because I think a lot of what he, some of what he um, is concerned about, I think, uh, feels to us like an expansion of liberal education. You know, he talks about ideas like uh, teaching people about creativity and leadership and service is all part of the kind of neoliberal symptoms mm -hmm. of the decline of education, whereas <laughs> I, I would consider all three of those things as, as potentially very, very rich. I agree with him that if they're emptied of content, if everything is about a, a box to be checked, mm -hmm. something to be put on a resume, um, you know, chits to be collected by the privileged so they can have a better chance of getting into an elite school, then I agree with him that those are empty. I think that also to come back to our piece, open and integrative, the tension is whether you have a fundamentally disintegrative view of education or an integrative one. And I think even at the elite level, part of William Dreschwich's concerns is that everything is merely about aggregation and accumulation. It's just more and more um, what someone else has called the arms race of hyperachievement. Um, as opposed to helping, in every way, students really focus on uh, the essence of slowing down and asking questions and examining purpose. But I think getting back to that, or getting to that place, uh, is not a simple question. 